The postal workers at tonight's public hearing didn't like what they heard and weren't shy about it. The Southern Connecticut Mail Processing Center in Wallingford is on the post office chopping block as the U.S. Postal Service is trying frantically to stop hemorrhaging money. And in 2000, 5% of Americans paid their bills online. Today, 50% that will continue to grow. We have gold green initiatives. We have companies charging for high, hard copy to receive in the mail. Among other cuts, the Postal Service wants to shut down processing centers in Wallingford and Stamford and handle that mail in Hartford. 700 people work at the center in Wallingford. Nearly 300 of them would lose their jobs. The impact to our, the delivery of our mail to our customers at their residences or their businesses. But the postal workers have some powerful backing. Three members of Connecticut's congressional delegation turned the hearing into a pep rally of sorts, promising to fight the cutback plan and save jobs. The decision would cost this region hundreds of jobs. We can't afford the loss of hundreds of jobs. And without addressing the real causes of the Postal Service's financial problems. The notion that delivery has not been affected by the changes that have already been made in our processing and that delivery is not going to be affected moving forward is an absolute fiction. We are united, we are a team, we're gonna to work together, we're gonna to fight together, we're gonna to win for you. Now the post office says that consolidation will not only save money, it will make better use of space, staffing, equipment, and transportation. Nationwide, the post office did similar restructuring in 35 other parts of the country last year.